hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn about creating a criteria based sharing rule in salesforce so let me tell you what are these criteria based sharing rules in salesforce so in salesforce we have a sharing rule that is criteria based sharing rule and this type of sharing rule are defined by the criteria rather than specifying individual users or rules and these criteria based sharing rules are particularly useful for ensuring that relevant records are visible to the right people and this also helps in collaboration and ensures that user can access the information they need to perform their role effectively. So the future of creating the criteria based sharing role is available in the both of the edition of Salesforce that is Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic. So first we will see the method of creating a criteria based sharing rule in Salesforce Lightning. So let's move ahead and see the process. So right now I have logged into my Salesforce developer account. And here on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning, go to this quick find box and here search for the sharing settings. And from the options in the drop down, click on the sharing settings. And in the setup window of sharing settings, scroll down to the section sharing rules. And here we can see the sharing rules of different objects. And from here, we have to select an object for which you want to create a criteria based sharing rule. In this example, I will create a criteria based sharing rule for this account object. So in the section account sharing rules, I will click on the new button. And in this window, we will fill the required fields to create a criteria based sharing rule. And in the label field, you have to enter the name of this criteria sharing rule. So in this example, I have named the label as account transfer rule. And the rule name will be auto filled as we click on it according to the entered label. And it is optional to enter the description. And in the second step, we have to select the rule type. And since we are creating the sharing rule based on the criteria, so we will see, so we will select the option based on criteria. So in the third step, we have to define the criteria. That means when this defined criteria will be true, the records will be eligible to share with the users. So for example, I have selected the field as a billing city, ownership and active. That means these three fields will be used as a criteria for the sharing of these records of account. And the operator I have selected as equals and value will be New York. And value will be an operator will be equals and value will be New York. That means if the uh, billing city equals to New York of any account that will be eligible to share according to this sharing rule. And the ownership I have selected as public i selected the ownership as a public and status as active so now with this you can understand that if the billing city of any account record will be new york and ownership will be public and its status is active then it will be eligible for the sharing with the users that we will select right now so in this step we will select the users to whom these records will be shared according to this criteria so in this share field click on this first drop down and select the category of the users so i will select the category as public groups and in the second drop down we will select the users so here is only one option that is all internet users so i will select it and in the fifth step we have to select the access for the users so the default access for the account and contract is read only and I will make this opportunity access of the accounts and the case access of the account as read only. And at last, click on the save button. And as we click on the save button, this pop up window will appear on the screen for the confirmation of creating this sharing rule. Here, click on this OK button. And as we click on this OK button, the sharing rule will be created. And to view that sharing rule, scroll down to the object. So we have created this criteria based sharing rule for the account object. And here you can see. This is the criteria based sharing rule that we have created right now. So now we will see the same process of creating a criteria based sharing rule in Salesforce Classic. So let's move ahead and see that process also. So right now I'm in the classic edition of Salesforce and from the home page of Salesforce Classic, navigate to the setup page and for that click on this setup tab. And in the quick find box on the left hand side, search for the sharing settings and from the option in the drop down, select sharing settings under the heading security controls and in the setup window of sharing settings we scroll down to the section where you can see the sharing rules of different objects and in this example i will create a sharing rule for the opportunity object 
So in the heading opportunity sharing rules, I will click on this new button. So now in this window, we have to enter the required fields to create this criteria based sharing rule. And in the label field, I will enter the name for this. And in the label field, we have to enter the name for the sharing rule. In this example, I have named the label as opportunity sharing access and the rule name will be auto filled according to the entered label. And it is optional to enter the description for this sharing rule. And in the second step, we have to select the rule type for this sharing rule. So we are creating the rule based on the criteria. So we will select the option based on criteria and here you can see these are the fields operator and the value that we have to define to define this criteria so in the field you can select from the option close date and operator i will select as less than and the value of the date so the criteria that i have defined is when the field is closed date and its operator is less than and the value is so the criteria that i have defined is when the close date of an opportunity record is less than uh, 12th of january 2024 it will be eligible for the sharing with the users that we will select in the next step and so i will select the second criteria as created date the so second criteria i have defined here is a create if the created date is greater than 25 10 23 it will be eligible for the sharing and one more criteria i will define here as if the lead source equals to phone inquiry so these are the three criteria that I have defined for this sharing rule and you can also add a filter logic to this criteria sharing rule and for that click on this button add filter logic and here you can see right now this filters added with the logic first and second and three so you can change it to first second or three that means either the first or second criteria meet the conditions else if the third criteria will meet the condition then also these records will be eligible for the sharing according to this criteria sharing rule and in this step we have to select the category and the set of users with whom these records will be shared according to this criteria sharing rule so i will select the category as a roles and the users i have selected as channel sales team and the access i will give as read and write and the access I will give as a read and write and at last click on the save button in the window that will appear for the confirmation of creating this criteria based sharing rule and here click on the ok button for the confirmation so here it is giving us error for the parenthesis so here you have to use parenthesis if you are defining or and end function between three or and if you are using or and and operator between three criteria. so i have added the parenthesis and now i will click on the save button so as we click on the save button the criteria based sharing rule will be created so in this example i have created the criteria based sharing rule for the opportunity object and as you can see this is the criteria based sharing rule that we have created right now so this was all about creating the criteria based sharing rule in salesforce and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.